And leading off, Marcus Stroman, not a real big guy. First round draft pick out of Duke University. Good power sinker, 92 to 94 miles an hour. His slider is good. Will throw an occasional curveball and changeup. His best trait, ultimate competitor. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Now the pitch. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And just a chamber of commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. The one, two. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, number 18 for him on the campaign, as the Phillies have taken a two-to-nothing lead. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Here's Bryce Harper now. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Chopped to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting four. The catcher. JT. Real Muto. So now it'll be the four hole hitter. JT Real Muto. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. You know, Maddie, when I think of this guy, I think of damage near the league leaders in RBIs as well, d -Row. That's the stat that I think gets overlooked so much in today's game. I remember back to Chipper Jones. He used to say, how many biscuits can you put in a basket? Runs and ribbies. And he certainly has a knack for being able to drive in that big run. At the plate, Didi Gregorius. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounded up the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Another one sent foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 0 2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. But the fighting strike for a pair, both coming on this two run home run. Archie Bradley, a right hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one, and if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance to win this one here today. One and one to the Mets' leadoff hitter. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo home run for Ahmed Rosario. Home run number five on the year. And the Mets are on the scoreboard. It's now a two to one game. 
baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys who would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop on their bat, and they can go deep. Here's Jed Lowry now. And he hits it hard to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting third. The right field. Michael Conforto. At the plate, Michael Conforto. And as you can see, he has been slumping offensively. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Batting four. The first baseman. Pete Alonzo. So here's Pete Alonzo. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Mets do get one back, though, on the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's the Phillies two and the Mets one. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. Leading off for Philadelphia. He's ready. Here's the first offering. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Well, it's been a rather lopsided series so far with the Phillies dominating to this point and taking aim in this one at a series sweep. And you can see why this team is in first place in the division. A solid ball club with good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing interdivision squads. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. And he chased it in the dirt. Chirinos recovers. And the throw is there to record the first out. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone, have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Another 0 2 home. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. Taken there by Lowry. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it two to one. Here's Robbie Cano now. He's two for seven in the series so far. The third baseman, Robinson. Here comes the first pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Harper giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting six. The center fielder. Jared Parker. Stepping in, Jared Parker. Head-to-head -head numbers against Archie Bradley. He's 0 for 4. And a swing and a miss at a pitch well off the plate. It's strike one. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. 
High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is gone! A solo shot here to left. Home run number two for him on the year. And the Mets have come back to tie this one at two. Oh, that swing has to feel good right there. If you look at the numbers, this guy does not give up many long balls. To take him deep in this spot is certainly is huge. Ioannis Cespedes striding in next. No balls in one strike. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. But the Mets are able to square things up on this. Standing in, Archie Bradley, 9-1-2 due up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now back. So striding in, Alec Bone. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to left and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as the Phillies move out in front three to two. Well he won his last start but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W in this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. The batter number two. Gene Segura standing in. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second, and Lowry will put this away for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Looking at his career totals, Harper begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Pulled toward right center field. Parker will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. We play two and a half, and Philadelphia's taken a three to two lead. Back now for the Mets' third turn at bat, and unfortunately for them and their fans, this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. The bouncer to the left side, reined in. Throw on to first in time, one away. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0-1.
third inning. Already a 3-2 ball game. Lifted in the air out towards left center. McCutcheon is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter, number four. Digging in the switch hitter, Jed Lowry. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. In his career, Lowry is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Lifted down the line in left. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer to play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Lowry at second with two down. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Stepping up now, JT Real Muto as we begin the top of the fourth. The captain. Now here's the pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just... Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 37 on the year, and it's given the Phillies a 4-2 lead. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far, fellas? Yeah, Matt, it's always tough to score runs here at this big ballpark in City Field. Heck, d -roll, they've moved the fences in a couple of different times here to make it easier for the Mets hitters. You know, this has been such an impressive hitting performance today by this offense, considering the fact that we're in City Field, although aesthetically pleasing, not for an offensive ball player. Four runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Popped him up. Alonzo waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The left Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. This is in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Phillies get one in the frame, courtesy of... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in is the big-time power threat, Pete Alonzo. And a high strike there, 0-1. That elevated fastball right there, 
that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Alonzo is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. So it was a strikeout swinging. Pete Alonzo becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Robinson Cano comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Liner toward right center. And he will make the play. Two away now. Well, this one was squared up pretty good. But just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Into the box now, Jarrett Parker. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Mets go down one, two, three. Still down by a count of four to two. Digging in now, Adam Hazley comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Adam Hazley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. One pitch, one swing of the bat, and they've got a man in scoring position just like that. On the mound, he's probably happy it stayed in the yard. He jumped all over the first thing he saw and almost got to round the bases. At the plate, Archie Bradley, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh one here's the pitch and boy big problems here to start this at bat it's 0 and 2 now some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up hit the other way out toward right field right fielder is on the run and he tracks it down nice play for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Alec Bone is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Here comes the 0-1. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Parker is there. Two gone. Ready once again. Jun Segura. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Segura. First offering on its way. Hit out towards second. And this gets right through him. And that may be a run. And the lead will move to three as it's now a 5-2 to two game. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -World. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Home half of the fifth coming up. Phillies lead this one 5 to 2. Welcome back to Flushing Queens. Before we get back to baseball, let's check in with Heidi. 
Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all go. game, Whoa, which okay. obviously doesn't usually Don't lead to good go. results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. No mistake what he was now sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, oh, kept his hands back, Green, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Two run shot to straightaway center. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5 4 game. Well, that's the sixth home run we've watched leave the yard in this one. Guys, what do you think's behind the hitting we've seen here today? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, d Rose, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right, but he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall no for the first down. Next for the Mets, Ahmed Rosario. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Harper coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now back. Digging in and looking for more, Jed Lowry. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. This is the cat and mouse of baseball right here. Batter versus pitcher. You fight so hard as an offensive player to get count leverage. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. Check out the batting averages in those counts. And then check out the batting averages in even and behind counts with two strikes. 2-0, your eyes lie. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Five innings complete. It's down to one at 5-4 now. Robert Gesellman takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And in steps the catcher, J.T. Real Muto. Here's the first pitch to him. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Goodness, 0-2 now. Hey, let's see if the Fisher biting if he extends it out there a little bit more. 0-1 looked like it was off the plate. Let's see if 0-2 is even further outside the zone. This one's down to third. Cano has it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And here's the left-handed hitting shortstop, Didi Gregorius now. Hit to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready for another chance? Reese Hoskins. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Both teams with six hits so far. 
Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Phillies down in order. They hold on to a 5-4. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. Now the pitch. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. He gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field. Digging in, Robinson Cano. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. A ball and a strike. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Fly ball out to right field. On the move is Harper. And he can't get to it as it bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. And the tying run will be in scoring position. Jared. To the plate now, Jared Parker. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. McCutcheon is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The left field. Stepping Number into the 52. box, Yoenis Cespedes. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Ran it in on him as this is bounced towards short. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw in time and the side is retired. Mets leave one and the deficit holds at five to four. Standing in, Andrew McCutcheon. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Mm, chased out of the zone there and he's down two strikes. And this one's inside and high. One and two now. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. The batter, the center fielder, Adam Hayden. So now to the plate, Adam Hazley. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Right fielder looking up. Gone into the upper tank. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season, and it's now 7-4. to four. Well, if you're just joining us, that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Yeah, Matt, it's always tough to score runs here with this big ballpark in City Field. Heck, d roll they've moved the fences in a couple You're of different times here to make it easier for the Mets hitters. You know, this has been such an impressive hitting performance today by this offense, considering the fact that we're in City Field, although aesthetically pleasing, not for an offensive ball player. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in Alec Bohm. He flew out in his last at bat. Now here's the pitch. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. 
Still only one out in the inning. Throw gets him two down. Gene Segura will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Swing and a liner. And boy, the Phils just keep right on rolling as this will be extra bases again. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. David Peterson is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Janeshwi Fargus is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Runners at second and third with two gone. And he lays off for ball one. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. The 1-1. One -one. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's got it. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. But the fight and strike for a pair both coming on this. Brandon Workman gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Robinson Chirinos will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. One and one to Chirinos. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Now batter, better fielder. Striding into the box, Janeshwi Fargus. He's newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. One out, nobody on. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. A wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul, and that's the second strike. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Workman is about as stingy as they come in terms of a bullpen arm. He's proven very difficult to hit, and it's a rarer thing still to see multiple hits against him. Yeah, Matty V, and you wonder why it's so hard to score off of this guy. He's nearly impossible to get three or four hits. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the Mets. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters, from their approach to their swings to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both 
lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Roll, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. No balls and a strike to count. Fouled off. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Chirinos corrals it, and he makes the throw to first. Hoskins is retired, two down now. Stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon. He singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a pitch swung on and grounded toward Rosario at short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They hold a 7-4 to four lead. Into the box now, Jed Lowry. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So stepping in, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ball one. The Phils are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale. So if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going for the sweep. And you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will get this one. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. One of the keys is staying focused. This was a team right now that's been playing good baseball. They're in first place. And hopefully they're not losing sight of the schedule and looking ahead to the postseason because getting swept at this point of the season is not a particularly good look. 2-0. Two balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Just a tick behind for a strike. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Mets go. Set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in is the outfielder, Adam Hazley. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they attack him more with fastballs in this at bat. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Jake Bruce will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The next 0 2. Swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. 
pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0-2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Alec Bohm. And it's grounded just foul down the line. Two hits in four attempts to this point. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Fargus is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So no David Robertson enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 30, David Robertson. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Robinson Cano, ready with the 0-1. In there, and it's 0-2 now. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Segura is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Clint Frazier will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 77. Clint. Clint Garrett. High and deep to center field. Center fielder looking up, still going back. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. A solo shot that time for Clint Frazier. 24 home runs for him on the season, and that lead is trimmed to 7 5 here. Joanna Cespedes as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Cespedes behind the ball and two strikes. And that is swung on and missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. First delivery to him on the way. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Got him, and that'll do it as the Phillies sweep the series and continue to set the pace in the division. Seven to five, how today's comes to an end. The Philadelphia Phillies get the win on the heels of four home runs.